All right, new dance, we're all gonna do it together. Ready? Q and A Tuesday. Hey, it's Marie, and you're watching Marie TV Business and Life Advice That Works. Today's question comes from someone who wants to remain anonymous. So we're gonna call her Jane. Jane writes, I'm an independent sales rep for a makeup company. There's a shady rep among us who continually steals leads, edges in on events planned by others, and pretty much anything else that gives her something for nothing. Our district manager claims that she can't do anything and refuses to get involved. It's not fair to the rest of us who are working hard, and this behavior will continue as long as she is getting away with it. I am at my wit's end, and I don't know what to do or who else to turn to. She must be stopped and taught a lesson about business ethics and integrity. Please help. Jane, you're not gonna like what I have to say, but this is actually gonna be a great lesson for you in business ethics. I choose business ethics. <laughs> This woman is either aware that she's leeching off of everyone, but figures it's fine because nobody's called her out on it, including you, or she's clueless and is operating out of fear and scarcity and really has no idea how to conduct herself. In either scenario, first realize you are not the victim of this woman. If you want her to stop, you must take responsibility for your part in the fact that it's still going on. You are complicit by not being straight with her, so here's what I suggest. Girl, you need to have a come to Jesus talk with her. You sit down and you say, leech, lay off of my leads, you sales sucker. <laughs> Kidding. Give her the benefit of the doubt and have an honest, compassionate talk with her. Tell her how her actions are having a negative impact on her reputation. Be specific in your examples. You wanna say something like, hey, I don't know if you realize this, but the way you're behaving, it comes across like you're trying to steal leads from myself and the other reps. Then listen to what she has to say and really be open to hearing her point of view. I suggest you approach this conversation like a friend or a sister versus someone who wants to make her pay or you wanna reprimand her for what she's done wrong. Now I can hear from your tone that you really wanna take her down, but trust me on this one, it will not be nearly as satisfying as you think it'll be. You gotta remember, we all make mistakes in life and the goal here is to communicate your truth so you can be free of the situation and hopefully you can help this woman rise up to her own potential. This approach will be the greatest lesson in business ethics you can ever give. A genuine example of someone being honest, compassionate and understanding in a clearly sticky situation. That's what I got for you, Jane. I hope it helps you out. Now, I wanna hear from all of you. Have you ever had a come to Jesus talk with somebody? Have you found yourself in a sticky business ethics situation? Business ethics. Tell me in the comments below this video. I'd love to hear about it. Did you like this video? If so, please subscribe to my channel and I'd love you to share it with your friends. If you want even more great resources from me to grow your business and your life, plus insights that I only talk about in email, come on over to marieforleo.com and sign up. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time. Hey, RHH Live is coming up. Are you coming? Go to rhhlive.com for details. Business and life advice that works. Was that a fart? That is a <laughs> All right then. And I don't know what I'm supposed to say next. <laughs> <laughs>